Okay. Joe, we have them. a potential pandemic. A national health emergency. The World Health Organization says the outbreak has pandemic potential. And the CDC says it fears death in the United States. We could be in danger of a worldwide flu pandemic. A pandemic. Worrying about a worldwide pandemic. We are following. Uh, hopefully the government prepared for something like this. $420 million to prepare for a possible flu pandemic someday. Oh, that's good. Oh. One of the things they talked about yesterday was uh, stripping away some money for pandemic flu as just one example. There's funding to help improve our preparedness for a pandemic flu. There's $780 million for pandemic flu preparedness. What does that have to do with an economic stimulus package? Ah, so what if there's a pandemic? What does this have to do with the economy? Oh. Worried investors fear a deadly outbreak of swine flu could derail a global economic recovery. They declare a worldwide pandemic. At that level, trade could be restricted, sports events and concerts could be canceled, and borders could be closed. <laughs> what? Okay, first thing first, I'm not laughing at the epidemic situation. I pray to anyone who's affected by this. I, I, I pray to you guys. My heart goes out to anyone who's affected by the situation. However, to all the Republicans who, not all of them, but to some of the Republicans who are yelling at me for supporting Barack Obama's stimulus package, uh, support not all of it, but some of the stuff that Barack Obama, Barack Obama's stimulus package, and the same Republicans who probably thought the whole stimulus package was wasteful spending, what do you have to say about this now? I'm not blaming the epidemic on you. I'm not saying it's your fault. Nor I'm saying nor I'm saying that um that um the stock market is crumbling because of you, or I'm saying the stimulus package is the number one thing in the world, and if you disagree with me in your face, but to certain people who yelled at me saying that, oh, wow, Richard, oh, wow, Richard, you're completely wrong. The stimulus package is way for spending. There's not one thing that's good in the stimulus package. What do you have to say now? Barack Obama and the, the, the Democrat and the Barack Obama administration put out $738 million for something like this to happen. They predicted this. So something might, a pandemic might happen. We should put money aside just in case. And what happened? The Republicans got upset and refused this and took this out of, took this out of the stimulus package. And guess what happened? It's the, a, a pandemic is coming. It's happening. And now stock markets are not doing well again for the second day in a row. The stock market didn't do well. Why? Because investors are afraid of the pandemic. And if it continues, then we're going to be in a deeper recession. That's all I'm saying. But... I just want to just put in comments. What do you believe in this? This is my question of the day. But that was the mini episode today. And today is March, not March. Today is April the 28th, 2009. And hope you enjoyed. And write some comments and subscribe and rate. Thank you. Peace. Oh, yeah, guys. I forgot to tell you. Uh, sorry. Last The last two weeks, I bet it was my April break. So um, I was pretty lazy. But don't worry. Now, every Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I will have a new episode, a new mini episode. And don't forget to catch me on uh, Black Teen Empowerment Radio every Sunday. The link is on the side. And the two videos that I use to make this mini episode is on the side. It's not my video. I'm not trying to get any credit for it. It's on the side if you want to subscribe or you want to put a comment or rate their video. It's right there. Is it? I think it is there. I'm, it might be there. I'm 90% positive now is there. Yes, yeah, there. I'm sorry. I was pointing at the wrong place. But it's over there. So I'm not taking any credit. And I'll see you Thursday. Peace.